Hey guys, this is V and welcome to Designs by V. What's in front of you now? It's um, clear glass that I distress with paint to have that mercury old time old world look. And it was a clear glass, like I said, that I turned into this. It's a video I did yesterday. But I am showing you these two lamps that I turned into a vase. I paid $4.99. When I go into stores, I always think of what something else could be. Usually you see one YouTuber channel and mostly everyone have the same thing in their house. That's why I love thrifting that you could reinvent things and turn to something totally different. So I drilled a hole in the vase, and in the lamp, to turn it to a vase. I paid $4 for it, and I'm going around the circle as I show you. And this is how it looks. And I use my drill to do this. This is what it looked like before. Now I'm going to show you how I use my drill to open up the top of the lamp. And it's pretty easy to do. And this is what it looks like after I drilled through it and painted it all up. And I use a uh, white paint and I put a gloss over it, an uh, iridescent gloss. And I even went through every other crease with some gold. So now I'm showing you just a different way you could do it, plus putting the whole vase together. Excuse my nakedness. So. I'm showing you how to close off the area where I took out the cord for the lamp. I'm using some liquid nail. You could use just about any sealer that you have. You could even put some, I learned that from my one of my YouTube sisters. Her name is Millie. No. I honestly, I forget her name on camera. I'm so bad. But if she see this video, she will know who I got it from. To take a little bit of crazy glue and baking soda and it could close off the area. But because I have the liquid nail, that's what I'm going to use. You could even use cotton and then put, put the um, crazy glue on it and it will harden it. Actually, it will happen immediately. So this is what I'm doing, showing you how to seal it off. And as you see, you cannot see it anymore. You cannot see that hole. So that hole will be gone forever. So now I'm showing you the paint that I use is from Lowe's. And I paid, I think, 99 cents for the can of paint. So now I'm going to cut out a piece of cardboard to put under the vase and to use the backing that came with it. The backing was a bit messy and I just sprayed it with black paint because $4, I don't want to invest that much in it even though I want it to be like a functional piece. So I'm going to cut a circle to help stabilize the piece in the bottom so I'm able to put different types of thing into the vase and it wouldn't come through the other side. I'm not going to only use it in that area that I shown you earlier on my curio. I'm going to use it all over the house. So this is how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to put a bead of glue all the way around the felt on the bottom so I I'm going to seal it off like I said so I cut one already I'm using the template that I cut previously 
as a sample piece and all I'm doing is just going all the way around so the harder cardboard will help stabilize the felt so if I were to put like heavier things in that vase it will not come through the other side so now I'm putting the bead of glue all the way around so I could seal this back down I could have used the glue gun but I'm outside I didn't have time to go look at I knew where that was and then I'm gonna put a little bit on the top of it to help seal this also and just take your cardboard and seal the bottom guys you could do this too I know you go to your thrift store and you see certain things just look at it differently and it could be something unique just to you and the size of this lamp turn vase um, that will run you my apothecary jaws that run me about $70 at home goods and it's like the same size of the huge apothecary not no the ginger jaws the ginger jaws and this is how it is looking and I flipped it over to put pressure on the piece so it will stay in place so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other one so now I set them up and um, I'm going to show you these flex, these branches that I cut from outside and I lightly spray them. So I'm going to set it up inside of the vase. I am tempted to say lamp. now it's in a whole new world a whole new category so I'm gonna fill these up with the branches and um, it's a perfect time of year that you could find branches and stuff outside you just wash them up for and then leave them to sit outside for a few days this is how it is looking guys I'm still amazed at my outdoor chandelier did you see that that's a DIY. Also, if you want a video how I made it, let me know. And these are the vase. So this is the area. I'm standing upstairs in the balcony inside the house. And I'm showing you how beer the top of the cabinet look. So now put in the vase and it... No, it, it adds something to it. It was missing something to me. So this is how it looks now. I think it came out good. I have to do a DIY on the cabinet on the um, curio. It's missing the glass. And I could do that DIY with you guys because I love DIY. So I put the other one in place and this is how it looks. I still have my summer decor up. The only fall I have done is straight ahead. So this is how it is looking and I think they look fine. So these are the vase that I DIY and this is the arrangement that's in the vase in the mercury slash distress glass. Guys, this is the end of the video, but if you like what I'm doing here, please like, subscribe, share. Hit the notification that when I upload videos, you'll be one of the first to be notified and I appreciate you all for watching. Bye-bye.